If we could somehow look underneath the clips in the sequence, we would see that the handles for each clip are rolled up onto reels that are hidden beneath the head and tail of each clip. Using this visual metaphor, Avid allows editors to remove frames from a clip by rolling them up into the handle reel, or unroll frames from the handle reel to put them back into the sequence. The icons for trim mode and the trimming tools use a film reel icon to visually reinforce the metaphor. For example, when you want to adjust a single edit point, Avid calls this a single roller trim, roller being the term for the reel the handle is rolled up on. Like all of the red tools, the overwrite trim tool will allow you to remove frames from a clip without affecting sequence duration, as gap or filler is left in the sequence to replace any frames you trim off. Conversely, if you add frames to a clip, sequence sync and duration is maintained as the new frames overwrite any filler or clip downstream. The yellow ripple trim tool will not leave a gap when you remove frames from a clip, but pull up the rest of the sequence, shortening the sequence duration by the same amount as the clip being trimmed. Rather than overwrite clips, the ripple trim tool will push the rest of the sequence forward in time to accommodate any new frames being added to the clip. As in segment mode, you can control which tracks are affected by this ripple effect using sync lock and other techniques, as we shall soon see.